So this is a video that will explain the difference between a concordant and a discordant coastline. This comes up in many different exam specifications um, and is a really important um, concept to get right when it comes to coastal geography. So before we look at the structure of different types of rock along these two types of coastline, we need to make sure we, rem we understand and we remember what the two different types of rock are. So I'd like you to pause the video and then match up the correct description with either hard rock or soft rock. So the two gray boxes match to either hard rock or soft rock and then match this to um, the types of rock you see on the right hand side. Okay, the answer is hard rock is more resistant to erosion and the two types of hard rock we can see on the right are slate and granite. Soft rock um, is, slightly, um, is slightly different, it's very different. Um, soft rock is less resistant to erosion, so it erodes more quickly and sandstone is an example of this. You see the nice layers in the sedimentary rock sandstone. Slate is a metamorphic rock, granite is an igneous rock, and you can see it has crystals um, like all igneous rocks do. Okay. Oh, this is gonna happen again. Okay. So have a look at the diagram on the screen. You can see that there are two different types of rock facing the sea, there, are, there is hard rock and there is soft rock. If you remembered correctly, you would have identified this as a discordant coastline. This is a discordant coastline. Oh. <laughs> discordant coastline. And in the diagram, you can see the hard rock is sticking out into the sea. That's because it is more resistant to erosion, so it's eroded more slowly. This coastal landform is called a headland. Now, in the next diagram, I want you to try and identify where the headlands are. Again, if you remember correctly, well done. The soft rock landform that is created by the soft rock eroding more quickly because it is less resistant, is a bay. And this is eroded by the waves, so hydraulic action and abrasion. On the next diagram, on the next photo, sorry, I want you to try and identify how many headlands are in the, in the photo and how many bays are in the photo. So pause the video, just think in your head. So there are two headlands and there are two bays. You can tell that there are two bays because the rock has eroded, has, the coastline has receded back, um, rece uh, sorry, receded backwards more, um, receded inland more and has eroded um, more quickly. And you can also see the beach in the bay because the waves have hit the headland, have lost their energy and have deposited sediment in the bay. So you can see um, the pattern of rock lines up um, from the diagram and on the diagram and the photo. So you need to get comfortable identifying headlands and bays and a discordant coastline, remember this is discordant, two types of rock facing the sea, um, using different sources of information. So you might get a photo with some measurements in the exam, you have to be able to use all of them. So next, and if you remember uh, this pro by process of elimination, next we have the concordant coastline, okay? Now you can tell this is a concordant coastline, um, because you can see a cove in this diagram. A cove is a lovely sheltered area of water and you can tell it's a cove because it has a narrow entrance. This is really important. 
and this narrow entrance we're going to explain the formation of in the next activity or after the next activity actually so this is what a cove looks like in real life this is lower worth cove in dorset very beautiful place to swim to go on holiday nice nice camping spot as well and this is how um the rock structure looks um in um, in the diagram compared to real life so you can see the soft rock has again eroded more quickly than the hard rock at the entrance okay pause the video for one minute and i'd like you to you might even need a little bit less time i'd like you to identify which of the coastlines in the um, diagram this is again a diagram um, taken from um, the Jurassic coastline in Dorset I'd like you to identify which one is a concordant coastline and which one is a discordant coastline okay a is a concordant coastline because there is one type of rock facing the sea and that is hard rock limestone B is a discordant coastline because there are two types of rock facing the sea. The soft rock is clay and sands and the hard rock is chalk and again limestone creating those headlands of Ballard Point and Dalston Head. So moving on to explaining how a cove forms along a concordant coastline. I would like you to have a look at this diagram and look at the rock structure. So again, we have one type of rock facing the sea, soft rock behind the hard rock and hard rock at the back. So you've got hard rock, soft rock, hard rock. And these waves are gonna be hitting the coastline, hitting the, that hard rock and um, eroding it through hydraulic action. A fault or joint in the hard rock will erode very slowly over time but it will gradually get wider and this is similar to when a cave forms on a on a hard rock headland in the cave arch stank, stack <laughs> and stump formation so this is a fault um a fault or joint let's call it a fault okay so hydraulic action caused by the waves is going to erode that fault and make it wider over time After a very long time, the waves will erode completely through the hard rock. So there'll be this very narrow entrance, very narrow entrance to the cove, okay? Or to the, sorry, soft rock, not the cove yet. Cove's not, hasn't formed yet. So nice narrow entrance in the hard rock and it's gonna hit that soft rock. Now, when it hits the soft rock, it's gonna erode more quickly because the soft rock is less resistant to erosion. Finally, because the waves are eroding the soft rock more quickly, you will get this lovely cove, sheltered cove, that forms in the soft rock. So it looks a bit like the bay, a bay. This is why it gets a little bit confusing. It looks a little bit like a bay, but this is a cove. And you can tell, remember, by the narrow entrance in the hard rock, okay? So a bay would be more open to the sea, whereas a cove is more cut off. So there are the diagrams. Um, in summary, feel free to pause and study them for a little bit longer to memorize those different stages. I would like you to try to complete the gap fill by yourself. So we'll read through it together. Number one, coves form along mm, coastlines. So what type of coastlines they form along? Number two, hydraulic action weakens a fault in the Mm -mm. 
Number three, when the waves have broken through the hard rock, they erode the soft rock more quickly because it is... is, mm -mm. Finally, when the waves reach the hard rock, it erodes more... mm. Okay. Have a go at matching that up, pause the video, and then I will show you the answers. The answers are... Coves form along... Oh click along. Concordant coastlines, one type of rock facing the sea. Hydraulic action weakens a fault in the hard rock, that is the rock that's facing the sea, the layer of rock that's facing the sea. When the waves have broken through the hard rock, they erode the soft rock more quickly because it is less resistant to erosion. Number four, finally, when the waves reach the hard rock, it erodes more slowly. And the odd one out, was discordant coastlines. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful and you can now confident, confidently explain what a concordant and discordant coastline is. Remember, it's all about geology and rock type and about how quickly um, those different rock types erode over time. Headlands and bays form at discordant coastlines and coves form at Concord coastlines. Thanks very much and hope to see you again.